Greetings YouTube and welcome to the Blue Corner. It's time to take a look at some OCG tournament results. Let's dive right into this as it is the first weekend after the new set dropped. So let's see how Japan is tinkering around with Gear Chronicle, Genesis, and Great Nature and how any of them are doing. And yeah, that being said though, because it is the first weekend of a new set, obviously there will be people playing these things. So uh, you have to take some of these with a with grain of salt, or should we? Well, we'll find out pretty soon. But first things first, let's take a look at the premium side, which was our only single player tournaments of this weekend. And WGP Tokyo was won by NLK Assassin, beating Angel Gize and Luard. And then WGP Nagoya Premium was won by Royal Paladin. Second place is Unknown, and Angel Gize got third. So let's take a look at this one. So there's your Royal Paladin necklace for Bobo and one Tarna. That's his G-Zone, and then the Angel Feather player. Uh, they are not playing Grade 1 Nauseal at all. They ditched it for the Perfect Guard, which I'm actually kind of, I'm not surprised about, but I guess they decided to... These guys, these other cards were just better for it. And, but he's playing uh, what's your, what you might call it, uh, Metatron as the backup. And there's a the G-Zone. So that's all for the premium, so let's get on to the standard side. So First up is the Aoba VGCS Standard Format 21 Teams. First place was Neonectar, Angel Feather, and Genesis. Neonectar went 6-1, Genesis went 5-2. Second place was Neonectar, Great Nature, and Gears. Nature went 4-3. And, and third place was Spike Brothers, Angel Feather, and Royal Paladin. So, here's your standard Neonectar deck list. Here's your standard Angel Feather deck list. Should note, playing 5 draws. And here's your Genesis deck list, and I'd say this is pretty close to the standard one. The only real difference is this guy is playing... Uh, he cut something in order to fit in an extra grade 3 to make it 9. Uh, he's playing one of the force grade 3, but I think this is going to get dropped in due time, just because it's honestly not that great of a card. I thought Iwana was going to be great at first, but... I don't like the fact that it's a Soul Blast 3 and all you really do is put one card back in, whereas Sao Tohime, by extension, uh, by comparison, Soul Blast 2 but puts one back in, so you, you're you only going Neg 1 and Soul, but you're also drawing two cards for it, whereas Iwana is a one draw, and she gets really big, that's fine, but by the time you're on grade 3, you have the ability to throw Force Markers around, so the power gain is not as good as Sao Tohime. The gift this grade 3, Milky Way, is good though. Being able to check top three, put one of the soul, and stack the other two back on top allows you to do neat things like put draw triggers back on top to draw into your cards. And a thing I've noticed here is that they are in fact playing the draw starter, which is something that was probably debated for a little bit, I want to say. Was there is if you play the draw starter or if you just start with a crit or start with a draw. I don't think starting with a trigger is good because you need to see Himiko as fast as possible and having a draw starter helps. It gets you deeper to your deck the moment you ride and the deck already has a decent enough amount of ability to set up the critter draw into the soul. You've got Cumin, you've got Sarohime, you've got Milky Way, this guy's playing Iwana and you can also draw into cards off of your other grade 2 Ulixis. And what else? Uh, you can, yeah, you can just, and you can also use Milky Way to stack the draws on top of your deck to try and get into your enabler. So it's not that unreasonable to set up the turn three or four Himiko. Turn three, you'll have to high roll a little bit to get there, but turn four is pretty reasonable. And yeah, that's all I'm going to say, like, this is pretty much, I think, a box energy deck list. It's just, do you play four Melissa, or do you play at two Melissa and two of the other guy? And moving on to our second place, we've got Neo Nectar, Great Nature. So this is the one that went four and three or something. So he's playing four Leopold, three Hamskate, and one of the other guy. And here's Gear Chronicle. Should note that Gears, Great Nature, Genesis, Angel Feather, they're all playing more than four draws. They're playing five or six, as it's starting to become more apparent that extra draw power in standard format is really, really necessary to have, unless you're playing Neo Nectar or another deck that's just able to inherently plus more. In any case, uh, this guy's playing five Great Threes. I would not be surprised if they just cut it down to a strictly four Lost Legend and just say, fuck it, whatever. And... He's playing six grade fours? Looks like it. It's either 
four grade threes and seven grade fours or five grade threes and six grade fours uh, yeah it looks looks like something I would consider mucking around with uh, I like I don't, honestly don't have a problem with gears in standard I've made my opinions clear on that in both a video and on this it's in this tournament post actually then we have our third place team there's your spike brothers there's angel feather that is a messy layout and here's your raw paladins so Neo Nectar still doing quite strong in that because let's take a look at our tournament representation here. Angel Feather was the most played deck, followed by Neo Nectar, followed by a tie between Royal Paladin and nothing else. Then we had a tie between Shadow Paladin, Genesis, and Great Nature. Gear Chronicle actually saw the least amount of play of the Answer of Truth clans, at least for this tournament. And OTT is seeing a significant drop off and doesn't is no longer the tier zero juggernaut that it used to be. It just took until now for other decks to finally be able to compete with OTT. Is there no Murakumo in this term at all? No, there is not. Only one Kagero either. And yeah, oh man, how the mighty have fallen there. But Genesis more or less plays like a Kagero deck. You're setting up for your big slam to the face turn. And you do it a couple of times. Then we have the Hori VGCS standard format 18 teams. First place was Angel Feather, OTT, and Great Nature. Second place was Angel Feather, Neo Nectar, and Spike Brothers. And third place was Neo Nectar, Genesis, and Angel Feather. And for this clan distribution, Neo Nectar and Angel Feather had the most amount of players at 13 apiece. Royals had one, only two gears, three Genesis, six Great Nature, which was tied with Oracle Think Tank. Huh. People were on that Great Nature Kool-Aid on this day. Anyway, let's take a look at this first place. So, Angel Feather, Oracle Think Tank, and Great Nature. So, this guy just dropped Hamske entirely and just decided to... Well, at least the Great 3 Hamske and decided to go with Bison. Uh, yeah, I, I don't Great Nature, so it's whatever. And then we get to our second place of Angel Feather, Neo Nectar... And Spike Brothers. And then our third place team, Neo Nectar. Genesis. And is this guy? Yeah, he's also playing the starter. This one's playing five crit, and he is also just not playing Awana at all. Uh, he's also playing an extra two copies of the Grade 2 Vanilla with 15 shield, which is generally useful for force. So that's another Genesis that's playing the starter, which I figure is going to be the standard. They This guy soldier is playing Melissa. And then we have the... This is the standard tournament that of oh, that premium one I mentioned earlier. So the Nagoya WGP standard. First place Genesis, which went 7-2. and two. Dimension Place, which went 6-3. And, and Gears, which went 6-3. and three. It's a pretty strong team. Second place is not known. And... The third place also was Spike Brothers, Neo Nectar, and Angel Feather. I only got the first place team here, so let's take a look. So this Genesis went 7-2, and two, and... Oh, did this one... Oh. Oh, this one also ran the starter. And he ran five draws, and he, he did not play I want at all. He played four Milky Way... Four, man, this guy maxed out his deck. Four Himiko, four of the one, four of four... Uh, he decided to go three Melissa and two of the shove it into the soul and pump up a couple of your guys' power. Um, yeah, I really like this list. I might actually give this a shot next. Then here's your Dimension Police, the rare appearance of them, and then Gear Chronicle. So this guy cut, I believe, yeah, did he? Yeah, he just cut his other back upgrade three entirely. And he's just going for Lost Legend, for Idealized. For Mystery Flare. Yeah. If I were to play Gears, this is probably the list I'd be building off of. And that's pretty much all for this. So, whoops, that's the review. Which I was actually ha quite happy with last week's episode. And for the and for people wondering what my thoughts are on Detonics and stuff, that will be in the end of the week wrap-up video for spoilers. Anyway, so. Uh, what can we tell from this? So. Gears are playing pretty much only their one good grade 3, and that's about it. 
Great Nature had their one day and then they more or less vanished. None of them on this one. Genesis is playing their starter and they're not riding a crit or a draw like I figured they would. They're also not playing the double red grade 3 and Artemis is seeing no play because what the fuck was the point of that ride chain if they weren't actually going to build the rest of the clan around it. Seriously. Like, that set had some really boneheaded design decisions, and I feel like Gear Chronicle was the one clan that actually, like, had a game plan and it stuck to it. Whereas Genesis and Great Nature just decided to dick around with random cards that ended up wasting a, a necessary triple rare slot, especially in the case of Great Nature. Because it definitely needed something like a great, uh, like a retrain of something that more or less was, what you call it... A Crayon Tiger, but obviously not Crayon Tiger, but a Crayon Tiger clone. But Neo Nectar and Angel Feather, though, still exerting their will and seeing the most amount of play, and I think the most amount of representation in these top teams. Almost every team will have some form of Angel Feather and Neo Nectar, followed by. Um, seems to be. OT. Well, OTT is not appearing as much, but it's still a thing. Um. Hmm seen a recent surge of spikes by the looks of it but genesis has appeared in a couple of these teams too gears is appearing a bit more on the second day and i think ultimately what's going to happen is genesis will see the most amount of play and success followed by gears followed by great nature but great nature will be worse than murakumo and murakumo is basically where i think narakami will be aiming to surpass yeah just that and that's pretty much all I wanted to say, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and until next time, this is Boostar89, jacking out.